video. This week I'm going to be talking about one of the biggest challenges that I face every day and it's getting my children to entertain themselves while I can get some work done where I don't get any interruption. So this week I've decided that I need to find a solution. I'm going to try some different angles, a few different things and hopefully at the end I'll have some great ideas that you can take away and implement in your own lives as well. We're going to come up with some ideas. Hey, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. Throughout these videos you'll probably hear me referred to as Mama or Mummy more often than not. This is Vita, she gave me the title of Mummy and I'll be forever thankful, my beautiful girl. This is Luxon, he's the baby of the family and the biggest snuggle monster I know. Occasionally you'll see this guy featured. He's my husband Phil and daddy to the kids. Join me as I share my journey leaning back into motherhood and being proud to be just a mum. Look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I want to make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand So, as every good mum does As every good mum does I jumped onto Dr. Google And I typed in how do I get my child to entertain themselves? And so from what I read, this is very normal behaviour, but there are a few main reasons that cause this to sort of go into overdrive, and I thought I'd quickly cover off on these before we get started on our journey today. The first is your child is simply wanting some affection and in need of it. It's that simple. The second is that they're feeling abandoned for some reason and they require additional comforting. The third is that they're simply struggling to entertain themselves and they just haven't learnt the skill to play by themselves. And the fourth is that they're going through a major or a minor life adjustment, there's something happening in their life that is very different and a big change and they just find that being around you and engaged with you helps to limit the amount of anxiety that comes with that change. So if we jump back into my problem, I guess you could say that three and four are probably the things that are in play for me. The third one is that obviously uh, Vita hasn't learnt the art of entertaining herself. And fourth, the fourth one of, and the fourth example of having a big life adjustment and the fact of coming from daycare into a homeschooling environment would pretty much be bang on the money. So I think that's what we've got in play at the moment. I guess after realizing it's normal and understanding that there's nothing wrong with my child, I figure I have two choices. I can work from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. while the kids are sleeping, or I can find a way to incorporate some pockets throughout the day where I can get some uninterrupted time. So obviously I choose option two. I'm gonna go through today a few of the things that we've tried in the last couple of weeks to help me get back some more time during the day that's uninterrupted. So the first thing that we've been trying is what we call experts in your network and what we've been looking at is the people in our lives that can offer some really great skills to Vita. The first one that we're trialling is uh, knitting and crafting with grandma. Um, Vita's grandma, Phil's mum obviously, is an incredible um, knitter and crafter and so we asked her if she would like to take one to two hours a week to sit down with Vita and build a project and start to transfer some of those skills that she's got into or onto Vita. So if you want to think about the type of people in your life that you admire for their skill set, whether they're a great musician, a great artist, a great cook, a great baker, a great carpenter or a handyman, someone who can provide some real tangible skills for your children. This not only offers a great opportunity for your child, it also allows you to get some of that uninterrupted time that you're so desperately looking for. And I found this to be a win-win opportunity for both Grandma, Vita, and myself. The second strategy that we came up with was the idea to sit down with Vita and come up with a range of different activities that she could do without our input. So we decided to do a brainstorming session together and then we took the post-it notes and put them up on the window and we've basically compiled all of those ideas and put them onto a list. Now obviously I'm mindful that I'm not gonna get one to two hours solid with that, but I'm trying to build it up so that we go from, you know, maybe one minute of, a, of uninterrupted time up to 15 minutes and 30 minutes. And as Vita gets more comfortable in, you know, I guess trusting herself and not feeling like she needs to come to me all the time, then I think that we're gonna be able to build it up nicely. 
Okay, so lastly, I wanted to talk about why I chose this approach. Obviously, the experts in your network seem to be an obvious choice for me, and I hope that this is something that you can take away and implement in your own lives with your own children. I think in recent years, we've moved away from the whole motto of it takes a village to raise a child, and I think one of the things that I really like about this is it feels like I'm moving a little bit back towards that. I'm looking at the people in my life, and to be honest, most of the time it turns out to be the uh, retirees or the people who aren't working full time because they've got the time to invest that back. The second approach to getting Vita involved in the process of coming up with ideas uh, for her self was in business uh, to implement any good change I feel like you've got to get buy-in from your team and so I wanted Vita to feel like she was part of that process, part of the change so that when she was asked to pick one of those activities, she felt invested in it and she felt like it was partly her idea. I want her to start to feel confident in her choices and I just feel like getting her involved in that process was a really good option and she really enjoyed it. I think what's most important for me is that I see my daughter coming up with her own ideas and being able to execute on them. So yeah, all in all, I'm really happy with the process that I chose this week and I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you've tried anything with your own children, uh, please comment in the box below. I'd love to hear your ideas and how you tackle trying to get time for yourself. As always, have a wonderful week. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the like button below and share with any friends or family that you think would enjoy following our adventures of homeschooling. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you all back here next week. Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far